Hello all, my name is Krishna Ayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, I'll be discussing how you can become a freelancer for machine learning or data science or deep learning or any of this particular technology. So freelancing is a technique where you don't have to go to any office. You can actually work it from home. There's no time constraint as such. You know, the time flexibility is there for you because you have to manage the complete work. Now, in order to become a freelancer, you need to do a whole lot of things. Again, guys, nobody, no company will just directly come and give you some work unless or until you are a very good expert in that, you know. So it is sometimes difficult with respect to getting work with respect to freelancing. But if you follow the steps, the steps that I'm just going to say you, definitely you'll be able to get much of work with respect to freelancing. Now, some of the steps that I have actually noted down here, I'll be discussing about that. And I'll also be giving you some of the websites uh, where you can actually go and refer for some freelancing work with respect to machine learning or deep learning. So to begin with, the first technique to basically get a freelancing work uh, with respect to machine learning or data science or deep learning, right? What you can do is that you can actually become an instructor. Now, instructor basically means you need to be very, very good at machine learning and deep learning, you know. You should be able to teach anybody in a very simplest language because Nowadays, uh, many population, like in every countries that you go, right, there are lack of teachers. There are lack of instructors who can actually explain in a much easy way. So you can definitely go ahead and become an instructor. Now, when you are trying to become an instructor, there are various platforms where you can go ahead and actually create your videos and you can basically sell them also, you know, as a course. So if I'm just talking about some data science course, machine learning course, you can do that. So fun, first of the websites that you can basically, or the online platform that you can basically refer is Udemy. Now Udemy has an option wherein they, they'll give you a status of instructor where you can actually upload your course. Uh, let, with the, let that be a course on machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing and many more things. Becoming a freelancer is very very beneficial for students also because since students are actually doing the education in uh, their bachelor of engineering or their masters right they prefer to earn some amount of money so definitely whatever you are learning you can actually create that as a kind of course make sure that that course has a suitable structure you know and the explanation should be very much easy so once you make that particular course you can actually upload that in the udemy platform and definitely if once somebody likes it they they'll, they'll give their suggestion they'll give their reviews regarding that particular course and once you there are many reviews that are collected definitely many of the people will buy that particular course from that udemy platform but sometimes i feel that it is still difficult you know you won't just get the result within a very short span of time so before that you have to do some kind of preparation now this i'm specifically talking with respect to machine learning deep learning data science so what kind of preparation you can actually do so first of all i would suggest that you create your own youtube channel you know you create your own youtube channel you try to teach in front of everybody in the youtube itself and you know that right youtube is the best marketing tool for any company any person because there's so many people watching your video and if they definitely like it they like to actually learn from you you know so once you once you create a youtube channel you try to upload some videos you try to teach them you know then what you can do is that you can then show your course link over there like Udemy course link so that people will go and buy because they feel that your teaching is good. Now, apart from YouTube guys, you, you also have to make sure that you have done some number of projects. Okay. And that projects must be completely from end to end in machine learning, deep learning. Uh, you know or uh, you're creating an ai application which is doing some very good work so those kind of projects should be available in your github so that and you, you should definitely write many blogs regarding that also so that will also give you a moral boost and people will definitely trust you based on the work that you have done you know they would like to learn more from you so at that time if you create a course which should be you know and udemy actually helps you to create a course within some thousand to two thousand rupees you know so in that way you can basically create a course so that it is affordable also and if it is affordable many people will actually choose your course don't make a very costly course because again that is not the purpose you know uh, you should try if you're becoming an instructor make sure that you teach many people in just smaller amount of money you know that should be the main aim you have to share your knowledge to most of the people now 
you have your uh, your youtube channel ready so that is just like a marketing tool just make your linkedin profile much more stronger have many number of connections you know that will also definitely help now this is with respect to the instructor that i am basically talking about now there are some more urls which i will also be providing the link in the description box uh, it is also like an online platform where you can directly get machine learning and deep learning projects also but again guys uh, this will be a difficult process because you have to continuously bid on the various projects and some of the websites that i would like to mention are like fever dot com upwork freelancer so these are some of the sites which can actually refer in linkedin also if you just go and search for freelancing data science jobs you will definitely get get a lot of job requirements regarding that but again if you just select that if you just apply that without any prior experience i think you will not get the project so that is the most important thing so whenever you are trying to do this and uh, the second thing guys with the help of youtube also you'll be able to get a whole lot of work because when you are explaining things in front of others right you'll get a lot of teaching opportunities from offline institutes online institutes online companies that are teaching data science machine learning and all uh, i have got many opportunities but i did not go ahead with teaching because uh, again my aim was completely different i wanted to teach in an affordable price range you know um, and those institutes were taking a huge amount of money uh, initially for one year i did that but i felt that it was not working out for me so this is the thing that you should actually do make a marketing tool of yourself through github profile through the wonderful projects that you do and make sure that you have all the explanation mentioned in the project apart from that make your linkedin profile strong have many number of connections i'll just give you a very good example guys uh, when 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 we when i started 2019 nearly in january right i was having only somewhere around 700 subscribers you know but as i continuously uploaded more and more videos in youtube channel provided free content free possible good content you know now my 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 linkedin connections is somewhere more than 8000 you know this is how you actually create connections many people will try to contact you if you are doing some good work and definitely you will also be able to guide them and i love guiding them i love guiding them they because there's so many questions that people will ask so wonderful questions also that they will ask and i'll try to actually put up uh, and i'll also be able to learn more things you know throughout it so that is obviously definitely helpful for me and uh, yes I, i'm guiding many people in that particular way uh apart from that what you can do is that you can also create your own website uh, like for your brand marketing like how you are actually doing as a freelancing and definitely guys if you are a student i think you should go ahead with the udemy or youtube platform because you still have time till you pass out of the college you will be having a very good marketing tool as youtube in front of you you know you'll be able to uh, utilize that after you get the job or before you get the job uh, and and as soon as who knows as soon as you pass out from the college you may not require any job also because if things work out many people are starting their own startups and you have seen many companies you know many companies they are focusing on the making their youtube channel more popular you know they are trying to gain more subscribers try to provide more and more content and later on they will also be opening their own courses for that and all so this way how it actually works so i would suggest that for students you can actually go for udemy platform become an instructor over there and just make sure that you have some number of friends who so that any queries that comes up from the students who are learning from you they will be able to help you out in the comment section itself by replying them back with the proper details and all now once you have gained some number of subscribers and some number of years of experience in through your youtube channel through the udemy platform through some of the work that you have done participating in kaggle competitions and many more other things or uh, participating in hackathon and all definitely then you'll be able to get some good good amount of work you know they are people uh, they are startups who will definitely call you up and they'll ask you for the guidance uh, what i'd suggest is that when you are learning deep learning machine learning some of the companies that are lagging are with respect to the deployment of machine learning models and making it scalable so here is the thing that you can become a perfect next with the you should also focus on creating a state of art models that basically means which gives you the highest possible accuracy learn all the necessary techniques that are actually required to create that definitely once you are able to showcase that in your github profile in the research papers that you write many people will call you for work you know they'll give you work because most of the work in startup companies are also outsourced uh, if i just talk about very bigger companies they'll not just outsource it to freelancer but they are small product based companies which will outsource the work to you and you can work from anywhere from your home yes uh, that is how you can actually become a freelancer my friend uh 
so yes this was all about this particular video i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all